played Philadelphia 12 days ago and your success as you look back on that game? Well, I think the first thing you point to is our ability to contain penetration uh, defensively and then offensively we shared the basketball. 33 assists. Um, it's just a good night of sharing the basketball and getting stops on the defensive end of the floor. Tobias Harris played in that game. That was just his second game. It looks like he'll mark his second start tonight. Will you start him uh, this evening against uh, the Sixers? He will start tonight. What do you like or appeals to you at this point, since he's been here, it's been about three weeks in his game now, and why this, this is a good fit? Uh, I'm not saying if it's a good fit or a bad fit or whether Indiana was a good fit or bad fit. I'm putting him in the starting lineup right now to see what challenges before him and see how he answers it. Uh, David West is a different challenge than Thaddeus Young. And so uh, it's, it's for our coaching staff and our players to see how we respond and uh, what we get from putting Tobias in the starting lineup. Well, that, that asks this question. What are the challenges for Thaddeus then, that he will face tonight? What you're saying? Well, Thaddeus is a guy who uh, arguably runs faster than any forward from one end to the to the next in, the, in this league and, and has the ability to catch the ball at three point and drive and finish on the opposite side of the rim. So that's uh, unique at the four position. Chuck, you've talked about learning moments for these young guys. Was that a learning moment where David West was clearly going at him trying to get him in foul trouble? Was that one, a teachable moment that maybe you talked to him about? No. Uh, I, I just think uh, overall uh, I think it was a, a theme for our team, uh, the fact that Indiana had lost to Boston their previous game. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a team who has established themselves for a playoff run, uh, a team who lost against us the last time they faced us, and they wanted to show that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And whether it was not it was David West established his position or Roy Hibbert the first possession of the game or Lance Stevenson trying to drive the basketball from one end to the other, their coach decided that that's the way they were going to play, and the players did so. You had Doug Collins after the, after the last game you guys played against Philadelphia kind of call out his team. Are you expecting Philadelphia to come out with a little more focus and a little more intensity than maybe they, they had in that game? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what they're going to do. Uh, for us, that's all I'm concerned about is I hope our focus is there tonight. When uh, In the past, when we've asked you, would you think so-and-so is most improved or rookie of the year or an all-star, you've declined to kind of comment. What is your thinking on that? Is it that you view that individual honors really fly against the team concept, or is it just a distraction you don't want to even entertain? I don't take myself too seriously. In my opinion, at the end of the day, I'm not voting for it, so it really doesn't matter. No, nothing, nothing more than that. Something like uh, nothing more that I want to reveal to you. I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's really nothing more than that. I mean, if I gave you an answer, would that do I have a vote? Would that help? Would that start a campaign? Who knows? Huh? Exactly. Coach, first matchup against Philadelphia was a low-scoring affair. You guys scored a lot better. You got almost 100 points in Philly. Are you expecting to see a good defensive game today, or are you hoping to see the guys put up a lot of points? I think it starts, hopefully, defensively. That, uh, that That's always the start of our games, uh, and, and whether or not we play well or not, I think uh, you know that ball is going to go in sometimes, sometimes it's not. And, uh, and I think at their place, we really had a good defensive presence about us, uh, getting back in transition. Uh, stopping the basketball before it got to the paint, uh, making them shoot in front of us. And so uh, that, that's premium for us every single game if we can get that accomplished. Coach, you got a combined 19 assists last game from Bano and Etuan. Talk about how they were able to succeed in distributing the ball and what are you expecting from Jameer tonight since this is his first uh, matchup against this Philly team this season? Uh, I think uh, Baino and uh, Etuan, is, they, they've given us a, a different dynamic that we didn't have before. Uh, since Baino's arrival, I probably played uh, Etuan more at the two, uh, just because they both can handle the basketball. Uh, it takes us from getting pressed. Uh, both of those guys can handle it. They can get into our uh, sets. Uh, we can get up the floor at an at a increased pace. Uh, and it be interesting to see Jameer, see how they handle it, see who they match up against Jameer, and, uh, and see what we do matchup-wise also. 
the magic in this, I, I know we've talked about the, the free throw shooting uh, and getting to the line. Magic and the Sixers are the two lowest free throw shooting team, fewest attempt by attempts at least in the league. It, when, when you're talking about the guys about attacking the basket more, maybe getting to the line more, do you say, hey, we're only six attempts behind Philadelphia, no, don't finish, let's not finish last in that category, or is that, is that something that is just kind of a work in progress? I needed that laugh right now. I, I think uh, I, I have not stressed at all about finishing 30th uh, in uh, free throw attempts to the team. Uh, I don't foresee that uh, being a part of my pregame speech, uh, but I'll say that maybe I need it at halftime. Now think about you. Thank you. <laughs> we good? Thanks, Coach.